I'm Jesse Rose. Renaya Carter. I was exposed to filmmaking. Through this program, I got my own apartment. It really matters you serving the people that's in your community. I didn't want to be remembered as a bad person. I'm not going back, you know. <laughs> what two words describe your life up until now? Lost and found. Scene 2B, take one. When it comes to telling this story, both Renaya's and my story, and our journey throughout the six-month fellowship, I've taken part in just about everything, from pre-production to production. Renaya, I see you have all the ingredients here right now. What dish are you making today? Um, I'm making a pot roast with roasted garlic mashed potatoes and roasted broccoli with Parmesan. Facing adversity, you can feel lost and feel like you don't have a sense of purpose. So I did spend six years in total being homeless. Four of those years was just with family um, and friends. Two of those years I spent in a transitional home. We were all just like something nobody wanted, for real. I could relate to being lost and found because of my rocky childhood. I didn't really feel like I had a place anywhere, no matter where I went, not even in my own home. And I don't think I really found myself up until the age of 17 when I was incarcerated. I was just so caught up in like the element of like instability. And that led to me doing things outside of my home to seek and gain like approval or attention from my peers. But I was told I was facing life in prison. It allowed me to have the opportunity to, to discover who I was and who I wanted to be. Through this program, I've gotten my own apartment, which has been like life changing. I could invite whoever I want over. I can cook whenever I want to. Also just working on myself to be true to who I am, being very independent and different, finding better people to associate myself with is how I kind of turned it around. I didn't want to be remembered as somebody who was just, you know, evil. So I went to San Quentin State Prison and I was exposed to filmmaking and I knew that this is what I wanted to do for my life. Every day I strive to be better by doing things and accomplishing things and then showing my family that I was actually changing and becoming a better person. I was accepted into a reentry program almost a year ago to this day. On my ride down here, I passed Hollywood and I knew then like, I'm, I'm back, I'm back. Why are you making this dish today? Um, I'm making this dish because it's nostalgic for me. Um, it makes me feel like I'm at home in my aunt's kitchen. And even though I live with my mom, that was more of a home for me. So it kind of just made sense to make it today. When I cook, I want to serve people who most people discard or like look the other way um, because they need somebody and you feel loved when somebody feeds you, like it touches your soul. I heard about the Bank of America and the Rams Fellowship Program while at a career readiness workshop with the Anti-Recidivism Coalition. I was actually working for the transitional home that I was living with. This was a true turning point for me. I've gotten the opportunity to have my own apartments, get my travel costs paid for. I've been able to rotate through several different business departments, none of which I had experience in before, but all of which accepted me open arms. Um, my favorite being working with community. It's a difference to work with a full team. I usually work with nonprofits, so it's smaller, funding is a little bit more limited. Being here and being able to impact multiple communities, not just dealing with the homeless population, that was really, really great. My favorite opportunities while working with the Rams comes from working with the studios department, hands down. Obviously, film is something that I want to do, but seeing how open and receptive everyone was to me coming on and being hands-on in the process, I didn't expect that. Like, I didn't expect to come and have the trust of people to like, let me pick up cameras or let me set up equipment or even let me like partake in the creative process. It's been life-changing. 
Bank of America provided us with a financial advisor. Before I started, I was like, I need to get my money in order. I need to find a way to budget. Meeting Brett, he was amazing. Bank of America has a fantastic program uh, in terms of financial literacy. Each employee and those of us who volunteer through the bank are charged with making an impact and a difference in the lives of uh, our community and especially when you get an opportunity to make a difference in the impact for someone who's brand new. I was given Denar Jackson as my financial advisor. I think one of our first conversations um, was me just opening up about who I was just to be transparent and authentic. Jesse is I mean, since I met him, he's been just really focused on the change. It's been a breath of fresh air. I mean, he, he's just kind of reminds you of all the things we take for granted. You know, being present. He's very well prepared. And I'm excited about his future. I mean, he is not that 17-year-old who made that decision that one day. And it was also inspiring for me to see someone in banking give me so much respect. He became my accountability partner over the last six months. We've all faced some type of adversity, some of us more than others. And you have to remember that you too needed someone else who cared enough about you to take the time, to give you the resources. A program like this is lucky, but luck is really when opportunity meets preparation. Someone like Renaya, she's been preparing for this. Yes, she has gone through hardships. One of the things she said is that is not the total being of who she is. She's so much more than that. And a program like this affords her the opportunity to show that she is a superstar. By being allowed to take part in telling our stories um, with Bank of America and the Rams. It's, it's, it was important for me because we didn't want no one walking away feeling pity for us. Um, if anything, we wanted them to feel inspired by our work ethic and our determination and our persistence um, for where we are today and like who we'll become later on in our lives. All right, Renai, so the Rams um, had set up an event over at St. Joseph's Bread and Roses Cafe where both of us will go and get to serve food to those who are unhoused. How does an opportunity like that um, impact you? Just great in general. You get to be selfless. You get to make somebody else's day better. Um, it's just a joy, really. It's who I am. That's my character, to serve people. I'm looking forward to getting the opportunity to work with Bread and Roses. I used to serve <laughs> um, on Skid Row in the kitchen with my uncle. To be a part of it as an adult is something that I'm actually looking forward to. Today we're serving and giving back to the community. Um, we're serving lunch and breakfast to the homeless people of Venice. It's, no, it's definitely special because it allows them to be able to feel as if they can come into a restaurant and not be judged by their status of who they are in the economy. They're able to come sit down, have a meal. My biggest advice that I could give to anybody struggling, very imperative that you find good people willing to find resources for you, willing to vouch for you. Having that support system will make you feel like you can do anything. When people who are currently incarcerated hear about someone who doesn't have the perfect background working with a professional sports team, I carry that with honor. There's people behind me who are counting on me to show up and like change people's <laughs> hearts and minds and the way they think about people who have backgrounds like myself. Kyron, we talked a little bit about why you came to this event specifically. Tell us about your passion for community outreach. To me, it's just giving back. You know, that's what I want to do. I was, I'm fortunate enough to be in a position where, you know, I'm chasing my dream and I'm living my dream. When I heard about the Bank of America Fellowship, people like uh, Jesse and Renaya, who, who are out of, you know, face adversity in their life, but they're able to overcome it, you know, and give back to the community that they were, you know, experienced that adversity. The Rams and Bank of America have given me the foundation to pursue my passion of serving people. To um, pursue my career through film. I'm excited to see what comes next after this for me. You've lost yourself. Don't give up. Like there's still time to find your true and authentic self. Me and Renaya, hard at work, on the move, and so far. Enjoy. We're just chilling. I see you, Renaya. Lots of hands in the field. Kenzo, good yes. boy. Renaya, Joseph.
Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our videos.